Hello, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we are going to create a web app using Streamlit. The dataset we are going to use is going to be at the comments, and I also have two more videos about this dataset on the channel. You can look for the insurance charge data analysis and machine learning videos for the data analysis and model training processes of this dataset. In this video, I'm not going to make any application like data analysis or finding the best performing model, hyperparameter tuning, etc. I already did this. And I'm just going to train the model with the best performing algorithm and I will directly create the Streamlit app. Now I will quickly talk about this code. We import pandas, numpy, preprocessing and model selection from sklearn. We firstly set scalar and label encoder. There were duplicates in the data so we use the drop duplicates method with using in place acoustic true. We use label encoder for sex and smoker columns and we set our x and y. Then we split our data as train and test. Then we scale the x values since they differ in terms of values. And we are good to go here. Let's start by training our model. We are going to use random forest regressor here. We are going to start by importing sklearn.insample import random forest regressor and we are going to say rfr model is going to be equal to the random forest regressor and we are going to set maximum features as three and number of estimators 128 these were the best performing ones in the machine learning video and we are going to fit this to our training data and let's say y train and we are good to go here we imported random forest regression from sklearn.ensemble then we passed the best performing parameters and fitted it into our training data now we are going to save our model as pico file for this we are going to use joblib we are going to import joblib and we are going to say joblib.dump rfr model and we are going to give name to our file and we should be see it in here yeah it came up we import the joblib and use dump method for saving our model as pico file now we are going to do two installation operation we are going to install streamlit and local tunnel if you are not using Google Colab as your code editor, the installation of Streamlit is different. You can visit their official website for this. Now I'm going to write and run the cell and view record again when they are installed. I'm going to say pip install Streamlit and see you when they are installed. And now we should be able to import streamlet let's say as st and let's see if it's work yeah it works now we are all ready for writing our web app i'm going to use write file which is going to create app.py for us with the code in that cell we are going to say write file app.py and we are going to write our code under this and it's time to import our libraries. In the app, we are going to use four libraries, Streamlit, NumPy, Pandas, and Joblib. Let's import them. We are going to start by importing NumPy and importing Pandas. Let's also import Streamlit and import Joblib. And now we are going to load our model using Joblib. We are going to say model is going to be equal to the joblib.load and we are going to pass the path for the model and we are good to go. And now we are going to start to define our functions. We are going to start with preprocess input function. We are going to create a pandas data frame with the user inputs in this function. Let's say define preprocess input h these are our columns in the x bmi 
children and smoker and data data equals to pd dot data frame and we are going to use a dictionary here let's say h equals to the h and also same for others same for the bmi children and smoker and at the end we are going to say return data this is the thing that our function is going to return and now we are going to define a function for predicting the insurance charge we will use the model we loaded with dot predict we are going to say that predict insurance charge and we'll press data in prediction give me the annotation here prediction is going to be equal to the model dot predict and we are going to return prediction now it's time to write the main function we will firstly create title and sidebar title then we are going to create input areas for our inputs then we are going to create two variables for the input data and the prediction model make then we are going to give the prediction to the screen let's start to it for this we are going to say define main and we are going to say streamlet.title insurance charge estimation and streamlit sidebar title user input and we are going to say age is going to be equal to the streamlit dot sidebar dot slide slider i'm sorry age 20 to 100 we want steps to be one and it's going to start with the value 30 and we are going to do the same for the others here since there's two options in this x column we are going to use streamlit.sidebar.select box here and we are going to say sex and it's going to be equal to the zero or one and we are going to use format function lambda mail if x occurs to the zero as female okay we are good to go now for bmi we are going to say streamlit sidebar slider bmi 10.0 for that zero we are going to set the steps as 0 0.1 it should be step also in the upper code i'm sorry for that and it it is going to start with the value 20. i think it's cool okay for children we are going to say streamlit dot sidebar dot slider number of children and let's say zero between let's say 10 okay we are going to set the step as one and value is going to start with the zero i think zero is the cool and for the last column we are going to say smoker it's also a yes no question because of that we are going to use select box streamlit dot sidebar dot select box let's say smoker and it's going to take values zero and one and we are again going to say format function lambda x now if x equals to the zero else yes okay 
we finished it now we are going to set input data and we are going to use the pre process input function we have age sex bmi children and smoker yeah, we are going to set pre i'm sorry prediction because the predict yeah, here is the, our function and we are going to pass input data inside let's add a sub header so we are going to say estimated insurance charge and let's add result placeholder streamnet.empty prediction the first index okay i think it's good now for the last step we are going to say if name it's a generally used method in python applications that goes to the main main i think that's so that's our app I'm also going to add all these codes to my website in the blog section. You can visit there for seeing the codes or by copy pasting them. Now I'm going to run this manually and we can see that writing app.py and it should be coming here. Yeah, it's here. Now we are good to go. For the last step, we, we are going to run this app locally. Our Streamlit app is ready, but how we are going to run it? For that, we are going to use local tunnel and Streamlit run. Let's write it. We are going to say the streamlit run app.py and content logs. And we are going to say local tunnel port and also I'm also add this code to the blog post you can see that streamlit run appi and the others once again it's for google collab and now it's time to try our app okay after running this our app is going to be launched we need to copy these numbers here just i'm going to copy that and paste it on the link we open then we can see our app and use it i'm just going to click it with you and we are going to paste the value to the local tunnel oh there is a problem there is a typo let me quickly fix this Okay, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to fix it with you actually. Let me find where is it here. And I think now we are going to rerun this. We can close this. Okay, we missed. Now I'm going to paste this. And here is our app. Okay. And from here we can make change like let's say yes to smoker and we can see that value is increased and say five children. Okay, this is how our app works. Seems nice. That was all for this video. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Have a great day.